So I just got this new do-it-yourself product. It's an FM transmitter. It lets you talk over the radio. So here are the parts, and there's actually a couple of interesting things. The breadboard over here, it doesn't really label uh, what goes where. You know, unless you see the instructions, you really wouldn't be able to figure out, for example, which one is resistor one, which is resistor four. Here there are some resistors. Um, this is pretty standard. We'll use the voltometer to figure out which is which. This allows you to connect it to the power. Audio jack, one red LED, a little microphone. There's, a, of course, a positive and a negative terminal on it. This is a variable resistor. Three different transistors here, 9014 and the 9018. I, this, I think, may have been a mistake. These look like variable capacitors, um, and I think you only use one in these projects. Talking to capacitors, though, it is a kind of an interesting selection. You have the 104s. These are the 0.1 microfarads. You also have the 102s and the 47s. These, these ones I thought were cool because you don't actually see these as often. This is a 15, this is a 30, and this is a 24. This is the power in and out, and so we're going to connect this over there to J2. This over here in J1 is going to be the audio jack. This is a variable resistor. Uh, this is the 103. 103s are 10K or 10,000 ohm resistors. And let's just solder this guy here. Uh, L1, L2, L3, uh, these look like the uh, coils. We can figure out where the LED goes. The positive terminal goes uh, over here, so the longer one is positive. The C3 and C4 are going to be the 102s. So this is C3 and C4. So these, these were the 102s, the, the 15 capacitors are going to be C10, which is over here, and C14, which is over here. 15 and 16 look like 47 uh, picofarad ceramic capacitors. So I see them over here. 11 and 12 are going to be the 30s, also right next to each other, C1, C2, C5, 6, and 7 are going to be the 104s. The 24 looks like it's at C9. C9, which is over here. So Q1 is going to be the one that there's only one of them. Uh, how do I know the direction? Well, if, if you're looking at this shape, you can see this part is round, and then the bottom is, is, is square. So, you know, the same thing with the transistor. Variable capacitor. C8. From what I can tell, the little niblet part, the one that has this little piece, that goes to the, uh, the side that's further away from these. So, What is left to do is go through these resistors and figure out, you know, which one is which. And to do that, I'm going to be using the voltometer. Take a quick look here. This is the 330. This is R7. Yeah, this is the 100, so this goes to R8 over here. These are both 10Ks, R4 and R5. A 4.7, this is going to be R1 and R2. For the 1 million resistor, this goes to R3. Something interesting about these 47K uh, resistors, they're actually different color coded. You, you don't see that every day. One thing that I notice now is that this does not come with an antenna. Here is the finished product. As you can see, I connected it to a 9-volt battery. Here's an example of it in action. One, two, one, two, one, two. And you can see it does work. I would personally not recommend this for a couple of reasons. The first and most obvious one to me is that it's missing the antenna, which I think is a fairly uh, important thing for any radio transmitter or receiver. Another small point, there's no on and off switch. Uh, the soldering. Um, see if I can zoom it here. This is not a board with a lot of space. If this is your first time soldering, this is not going to be an easy uh, job. Also, the board isn't labeled with which piece goes where. And so it only, for example, says resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, but it doesn't tell you what those are. Um, and that's not found in the package. That's something you have to go to the company's website. Certainly a negative if you're someone uh, like me who likes to just open the package, uh, not look at instructions and kind of just figure it out. Um, so overall, I would not recommend this project. It does work though.
Um, the good things about the product, it is small, it is sleek, it actually came with some extra pieces. Um, it came with an extra variable capacitor, an extra 15 a picofarad capacitor. So those are cool. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. I hope you benefited from this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.